Hello again everyone, as usual I'm BuffBud and today we are back with another episode of Super Hostile Legendary. Uh, now last episode, uh, let's see, we finished off uh, Peaceful Lake and we found what I'm assuming to be uh, Intersection 5, uh, which is in the Nether. So yeah, uh, we decided to come over here uh, after finding that because I'm not exactly equipped to go into the Nether. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are going to check out this area, depending on how it goes, we might uh, finish it, we might not, who knows. Uh, so yeah, uh, off camera I did get uh, a few more supplies, I got some torches, I got another pickaxe, I got a water bucket, since we need this one, and I figure we'll check out this area and see what it has for us. Now, the one thing that's kind of uh, bugging me right now, Aside from these two tracks not being lined up at all, what the heck is wrong with you, Vex? Are you serious right now? God dang it. Um, the one thing that's really bugging me right now is the fact that, um, uh, that the only iron we're seeing is in little spots here and there. Whoa. Why did that... That's weird. Uh, it's the little spots here and there. Uh, just on the the obsidian there. Normally what Vex does... Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Normally what Vex does is he at least does a, um, a big patch of uh, mineral deposits. Uh, whether it be uh, coal, redstone, lapis, iron, whatever. Uh, in big giant deposits somewhere else near the smaller deposits. So I'm hoping we'll find a much larger area later on. Otherwise, mining all this iron is going to be really tedious and annoying. Okay. Now, I want to try and just check out the uh, the railways, because that's probably going to be the easiest way of doing this. Oh, boy. Because by the looks of it, the railways go uh, throughout the entire area. Okay. I'm going to try and stay away from that volcano there, because chances are Vex probably put a gas spawner in it, or a blaze spawner, like in um, Sea of Flame. Actually, no, he didn't put a gas spawner in it. Uh, he had a sign saying that he wanted to put a gas spawner in there, but it just didn't work for some reason. That's right. Okay, now... Suppose we could actually just do this, since it's a lot um, uh, closer to the ground here. Okay, yeah, see, it's just little teeny tiny uh, uh, bits of iron here and there. Oh, what is that? Okay, so there's something... Uh, well, that's not even too big. Okay, yeah, that's just a little tower. So that's probably just a supply area. Why is there snow over there? That's so weird. Whatever, okay. Uh, we might pop into this tower real quick just to see what it is. I probably should have gotten a minecart, but oh well. Uh, Kingdom of... Erbrosia ending O oh, post. Um, Kingdom of something Brosia mining outpost, probably. Okay, so if I had to guess, down below is probably where we're gonna find a ton of iron then, since it's a mining outpost. Oh, hi. You are not a friendly. Okay. Alrighty, there's probably... Yeah, okay. I should eat real quick. Okay. Okay, there we go. I can actually probably do this. There we go. Alrighty, so there's nothing here, but it sounds like there's an absolute butt-ton of crud up here. Oh dear. Okay. 
shouldn't be too bad up here because I did put that torch down real quick. Oh boy. Let's quickly do this. There we go. Even if it's not fully lit up, at least it's lit up enough to where uh, things won't spawn, hopefully. Oh, hello. What are you? Eh, just normal junk. Oh, actually, I'll take those. Uh, that should be it. Okay. Ooh, that could come in handy. I'll take those. Uh, I don't need those. Um, yeah, okay. Well, is there... I know Vex sometimes likes to hide things in... Um, uh, inside uh, furnaces. I suppose we could take some sand and gravel because uh, just in case we find something that needs um, uh, pillaring down, we can at least do that now. Okay, ooh, food. Hello. And pickaxes. I'll leave those here for now because those can actually be uh, helpful. Alrighty, so I'm going to throw a lot of junk away. We don't really need it, but, eh, no, we got enough. Um, okay, let me quickly reorganize a bit. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Okay, that's a little better then. Alrighty, so... Let me see if I can just pop down here real quick without getting too murderized. Yeah, that seems very deadly. Well, actually, that... Huh. Okay. Holy Jesus. Okay, so I am seeing uh, more iron. I don't know what else is down there, though, but that's a long way down. Okay, so... We're probably going to need to get some, uh, okay, actually, while we're here, might as well come over here real quick. Okay. Alrighty, and, yeah, okay, so that goes down deep, too. And, let's check out this side now. Okay, we gotta watch out for that sand over there. Okay, yeah, that one. Okay. So by the looks of it, they probably all lead to the same area. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that is so freaking deep. Okay, so we'll come back here later, or, well, yeah, we'll come back here later. Because who knows, maybe there's for some reason gold down there. Highly doubt it, but meh, worth a shot to check out, right? Okay, so let's continue back on the, uh, hello there. Why are you here? I don't like you. Okay. Let's continue on the, uh, rail line here. <clears throat> okay. This place is so similar to uh, Sea of Flame. Oh, there's a chest down there. Do I go down there? And there we go. Okay. I am interested to see what that is down there. Probably not worth it, but meh, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to stand over here. Okay. That way if I place a block and it updates the gravel, then uh, I'll be standing on a different block instead. There we go. Ooh, ender pearl, arrows, and a golden apple. I'm probably going to die this episode now. Huh. Interesting. Okay. 
that was definitely worth checking out then. Uh, in fact, I should probably have the Ender Pearl down here somewhere. Uh, I really don't want to have it on my hotbar in case I accidentally misclick. Oh, there's another chest. Uh, but I mean, in case we do get into some serious, serious danger, I want to have it accessible. Okay. Now, I'm going to try and go down there, and then this guy's going to come at me right away. Dang it. Okay. Let me try and get these guys off the, the island here. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Hi there. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, nothing too good, but I'll take those. Ah! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Okay. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Ugh. Bye, Felicia. Okay. Right, so I see uh, what looks like either sand or sandstone over there. Oh, hello. This place is just riddled with uh, chests, isn't it? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, nothing good. Okay. There we go, okay. Alrighty, so first, uh, well, so far I should say, uh, what I've noticed, oh boy, we need to hurry, or else skeletons will easily be able to pick us off here. Okay, hold on a sec. I'll talk as soon as I'm free. Crud. Uh, I'll do this. Okay. So by the looks of it, um, let me do this quick. There's another chest there, but I'm not going for it yet. Um, so by the looks of it, uh, so far what we have is that thing over there. There was a big giant uh, thing over there near the entrance. So I'm assuming that's probably just to get iron. That big thing might be the wool. And then, I don't know what that is, but I'll have to check that out. Um... I mean, there's mobs everywhere, so I don't really want to go down and do anything. Um, I think I might try to get over there, because the next uh, portion of the railway is up there, so I might just go around and over, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I think I'll actually wait. Oh, dear. That was weird. I think I'll just wait until day, until, you know, it's not... Well, okay, it's still going to be raining. Wait a minute. I'm a moron. This could either be a very good idea or a very bad idea. I hope it's very good. There were beds way over at the uh, the mining outpost. I could just steal... That Enderman, while he was dying from the rain, stole a block of gravel and then it, uh, then it fell. Bro, what the heck? Anyway, I could quickly steal one of them and sleep, and then we won't have to worry about the, the night or the rain. Unfortunately, we will respawn back here if we die. That could be a big problem. Eh, it'll be worth it, I think. Oh, I hope I'm not making a big mistake here. I really hope I'm not. Okay. So I slept. Now I have to remember to sleep back at the Victory Monument when uh, you know we decide to go back home. Okay, so now we uh, we should just drop down at the end of this rail line, and then try and head over towards the other island over there. <coughs> Bing it. There we go. Thank you. Okay. 
Oh boy. Okay, I don't like lava. I'm sorry. I'm just a little stressed out is all. Okay, this uh, map has so far had a lot less lava than Sea of Flame. Okay, so drop down here. There we go. See, I think something that would have been really cool for Vex to do is um, uh, is at least at the end of each of these rail lines have like rail ruins on the ground and it looks like it just like fell oh I threw that off and it looks like it just like fell off and you know to the ground I think that would have been cool yeah okay so we should go over there then head over to the uh the rail line I guess um okay in fact I see signs over here There we go. That should be good. Whoa, okay. That was weird. I tried to just place it and take it back, but it glitched out again. There. What are you doing way out here? This place feels a bit nostalgic, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. You're looking for wool, aren't you? Oh, this is uh, the actual island from Sea of Flame. Oh man, I hardly even recognized it because I spent most of my town uh, time down below the island. Oh, weird. Enchiladas are also very delicious. I'm kind of curious to see how far he went to recreate this. He probably just MC edited the thing in. He, dude, even those are here. That's awesome. Okay, so what about the rail line down below? Jesus. Okay, so what about over there? There we go. So there should be a blaze spawner over here. <clears throat> Maybe not. <whistles> Hello. Uh, I'm a, I mean, I'll take that. Um, I'll take these because they're somewhat good. Uh, I guess I could take the bricks and the... I'll take the sword, because that could be helpful. Yeah, oh, uh, arrows. That's about it, then. Oh, boy. If I remember correctly, that was the Yo-Dog area. Ah! Nice. <clears throat> Man, my throat is not happy today. I don't know why. Okay, let's try and kill these guys without getting too close. That way we don't activate the spawners again. Okay. So I know there's a skeleton in there still. I know I didn't kill him. Oh dear. There we go. Okay, so the rail line is not here anymore. So we definitely got rid of that. Is there anything down below? Because there were, uh, there were holes. Ooh, that's what I was looking for. <coughs> okay. Aw, <coughs> oh, dude, come on. Okay, I'm gonna switch that out quick. Oh dear. Oh dear, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh my god. Oh hi. Oh my god, I can't even pick stuff up anymore. My inventory is so full. This recon uh, mission is a little too, uh... Oh boy, a little too inventory. 
Oh no, come on, stop it. Okay, I'm out. I'm out, D. Okay, there were more, uh, what did he call them? Rabbit holes? Bunny holes? Something like that? So, did they make it into this version? Okay, here's another one. But they are still coming, and I don't want to die. Oh my god. Well then, um, hmm. At this point, I think it's best to just, uh, head on. If anything, we can probably check this place out more in the future. Oh, Jesus. Or not. These a-holes are not going to die. There we go. Oh, boy. Okay, I need to clear my inventory a bit. Okay. I also need to eat. Okay. There we go. Okay, so if anything, we've now found uh, the Sea of Flame Island. Uh, we found the big giant structure in that general area and the mining outpost. Uh, so now, this island is probably just here just because. Mining outpost is... Okay, that was weird. Mining outpost is probably just for iron. And uh, the big structure over there is probably for the wool. So when we uh, loop back around over there, I think we're going to... Uh, quickly check out that area just to see if there's anything uh, worth, you know, checking into over there. Okay. And chuck that and that. I gotta admit, I like being surrounded by lava in the event that I have a lot of inventory because now I could just throw everything away. Okay. I'm trying to get over to that pillar so I can just go straight up. Okay, this is at least going somewhat quickly and I don't have to waste any of my blocks. That's nice. And, uh, if we were to, uh, travel this at night, because the platform is so thin, uh, mobs wouldn't be able to spawn on it. Unfortunately, mobs could spawn, like, everywhere else, and then, like, skeletons could shoot me off and then, you know, into the lava. That could be problematic. Although, luckily, if I do have my water bucket, and if I use quick wits, uh, I might actually be able to, um, to survive... Just do that. Alrighty, so now let's do the old. Uh, wait a minute. I need to get over there. Now, oh, whatever, I'll work it out. Okay, so water. Oh boy, water ladder technique. Even though I have actual ladders, I could probably use for this, but whatever. This is such a nice technique. Completely, uh, oh boy, there we go. Completely safe as long as you do it correctly, and it doesn't use up any materials, unlike ladders. There we go. And, oh dear. Okay. Phew. Alrighty, there we go, thank you. Okay, so now, okay, so we're back in the far back corner here, and now we're just going to be looping back around. So, yep, there's the big uh, structure again. I'm not seeing anything else, so it looks like that's probably it then. 
Although there's another big uh, volcano. Now that I think of it, is that maybe the same exact volcano as on the Sea of Flame Island? Did Vex just like MC edit that thing in all around here? I don't know. Actually, now that I think of it, I think the Sea of Flame one has a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit more lava at the top. Okay. There we go. Uh, boop -a doo Now, boop, 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 boop. Why am I, whatever. Uh, I suppose that could work. Okay, so first I want to try and, uh, get around here and light it up a bit. Yeah, it looks like it probably goes deeper down. Because I do see a chest up there right away, but that's most likely not it. Do I want to do this? Yeah, I guess. Yikes. Okay. Nothing too good there. I hear them. Oh dear. See you. Ow. Okay. Oh. Would you look at that? Vex was kind enough to actually make a little platform for me. Oh well. I made my own. Okay, and that's one stack used up. Boop. Okay. Okay, and they can't get to me that way. Alrighty, so... I do see a ton of uh, chests in there, so let's uh, pillar out over there and hope I don't get shot off. So what's up with that down there? That looks like it's like a perfect rectangle broken out. Oh dear. That's a lot of mobs. That is a lot of very unfriendly mobs. Okay. Boom, there we go. Although it does sound like they're dying. Why are they dying? There we go. Okay, so... Am I gonna be able to get down in there? Or is it gonna be very deadly? Here, let me quickly at least do this. And... There we go. Boop. And here we go. Okay, there. Now at least, if a skeleton does spawn, then he won't be able to get me. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not dealing with that. Nope. Nah. -uh. Not right now. Big ol' fat nope. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you not go across the rails? There we go. Okay. And light this up a bit. Okay. So if anything, Vex probably wants you to come down here and work your way up. That's probably what he has planned out. Actually, now that I think of it... If that was the case, why would he make it so easy to get to all four chests that are above? No, he wants you to work your way down. Maybe this is just a way to get in from down below? What's that over there? Do you guys see that? There's 
something over here. I don't know if it's like an actual thing I need to worry about or if it's um just a little break in the wall. No way. Well no, that that's that's too big to be a fleecy box. What is that? Okay, let's do this. I'm curious. And even though curiosity killed the cat, I am trying to at least be somewhat safe about it. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not the bull. I was gonna say... Okay, so yeah. At this point, he expects you... It's in the middle. He expects you to have a, uh, to have a water bucket and just to turn all this into obsidian already. And he wouldn't just simply put the bull at the very top because all four of those chests are way too easy to get to. So, he expects you to do one of two things, to either go to the top thinking, oh hey, those are the wool, or one of those is the wool, so I'm going to quickly get in there, and as a precaution, he put all the, uh, he put the spawners in there, that way when you did go up there, then you pretty much instantaneously die. Actually, now that I'm seeing this, there we go. Now you'd pretty much instantaneously die, oh boy, uh, but then when you check all the chests and realize no, none of these are the wool, then you're going to have to go down below thinking, okay, it's all the way at the bottom, ah, but now that's at the bottom, I can just start at the bottom by using a water bucket, and he thought about that, and to prevent that, he decided, hey guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to end up... Uh, uh, not making it at the bottom, I'm gonna put it in the middle. That's gotta be it, right? Okay, so in that case, the best way about uh, to go about doing that, I need to light that staircase up, that's very deadly. Uh, the best way to go about doing that is to start at the top and uh, light everything up, break spawners and everything. In fact, it's probably best if we bring in um, uh, lava buckets because the lava bucket will at least no, 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 no. Really? There we go. The best way to do it is probably just to simply get a lava bucket in there. That way the lava will spread out, lighting everything up and killing everything uh, in its path. And then, like, the, the only thing that I could think of uh, right away that that could uh, be problematic with is if there's TNT laced inside the walls, which I don't think there are, but it's always a good possibility. In fact, being around so much lava, he wouldn't be able to risk there being TNT, because in case one of them accidentally lit off... Yeah, so there... Okay, so I think what we're going to do to handle that is we are going to come in with a lava bucket and we're going to just lava bucket bomb the whole place and uh, light it up as we go along. Oh, I'm going to yawn because it is so early in the morning and I am not a morning person. Um, so yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it then. Alrighty, anyway, uh, we are out of time for this episode. We're actually going a little over on time, so I am going to have to cut it here. Uh, but yeah, I think that's our plan for next episode. Uh, either that or check out the mining outpost or see a flame. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day then. Goodbye.